Hello and welcome to Counterpoint Conversations. I am Ritesh, live from New Delhi, attending a Dell event where Dell has made a major announcement in the way it's uh, changing its branding strategy. So the Dell Inspiron, then the XPS and Latitude lineup is being replaced by a more simplified portfolio like Dell, Dell Pro and Dell Pro Max. And to talk more about it, I have a special guest from Dell. Please welcome Indrajit Belgundi. He is the Senior Director and uh, a General Manager at Dell Technologies India. So, welcome to the show. Hey Ritesh, first and foremost, thank you very much for joining us today. And to all the viewers, thank you very much for your love as well as your support for Dell Technologies products and solutions across the years. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for inviting us and quite a lot to unpack today, right? I mean, yeah. there was so much of announcements. It's it's going to take a lot of time to digest as well. But I think we can start with the elephant in the room, uh, the new branding strategy, right? How's the story shaping up and what's the story behind it actually to change all the naming convention? The, all the viewers out here, it's more about, as you mentioned, it simplified the portfolio. Right. This doesn't mean that we are simplifying our offering. It's more, more, more from a brand perspective, as you mentioned, it's, Optiplex, Latitude, Inspiron and XPS. But we want to basically offer our portfolio as Dell, Dell Pro and Dell Pro Max. And within that, we will have the three tiering done. Right. For example, base and premium. Now we are doing this, keeping the end customers in mind, right? We want to offer the right device and right solutions along with the right features uh, with our offering. And hence we are simplifying our portfolio. For example, some users, they would like to use a device. It may be for play, life, school, and then work. Then we have a Dell portfolio available out there. Or for a user, who so are going to use the high-performance, graphics-intensive applications. Then we have a different product line. Right. What are the differentiating features of these product lineups? And who are they catering to? all the product line what we announced today right. these are available across the customers in India right and as I mentioned earlier it is more about depending on the users we'll offer whether it's a Dell product whether it's a line like one or Dell Pro or Dell Pro Max so for example Dell Pro Max will also have uh, additional premium features okay or some of the customers who are looking for two-in-one so that's available in Dell Pro Max and again the Dell Technologies key tenets will be there across our portfolio, right? Security, manageability, durability, right. these features will continue to be there. Uh, and again, it all depends on user requirement and that's where we will offer different solution. And within all these three portfolio, we'll have the, the three tiering, which has been done. Right. So that's how we call it as a three by three. All right. The another interesting thing that you mentioned in the slides yeah. was the multi-silicon strategy, right, where you have processors from Intel, AMD, and also Qualcomm. And all these are like AI PCs, but uh, if you look at their architecture, it's different, right? x86 versus ARM. So how do you kind of work with them to kind of ensure a consistent experience across the product lineup? Uh, Ritesh, very relevant question out here. And we have now world's broadest silicon offering available with our client devices right right up uh, intel amd as well as qualcomm and along with intel it's it's a decades of collaboration what we have we announce our qualcomm based offering that's a first co-pilot plus snap right. along with snapdragon processor and uh, along with latitude 7000 series nine months back and we got huge response from the customer saying they like the performance they like the battery life and uh, with amd we are actually now have a complete portfolio for our customers in India. And with all the three silicon offerings, uh, it all depends on the user workloads or user requirement, right? Uh, and again, for some certain user workloads, AMD option can be a better one for them to basically use. So we want to ensure that we address and meet all the customers' requirements in India. And that's where, this is the feedback coming in from customers we have now all the three silicon offerings available with us. Right. And when we talk about all this silicon and 
mostly these are AI PCs, yes. right? Copilot Plus, and there are some kind of uh, use cases that are coming in from the OS side from Microsoft, like the background blur and your live captions and all. But then there are some uh, use cases that where you are working with the ISVs, and then some use cases coming from the vendor side, like Dell itself, right? So can you talk more about those? Ritesh, now it is not only about a device, right? Right. When we say about AI PCs, it's more about in whether entire ecosystem is basically ready with it or no, right? To take full advantage uh, of the device. Right. So we closely work along with the ISVs. One definitely is with Microsoft. It's a Copilot Plus. And I personally use Copilot feature a lot. It has helped me to improve my productivity, right? Or along with Copilot Plus, I use Microsoft Teams Premium. For example, we all attend meetings, right? So it helps me to take meeting notes at the end of the meeting, right? Then we also work along with Zoom for collaborative tools or fine-tuning the collaborative application as such. We work along with CrowdStrike for security aspect. So uh, it's more about the ISV readiness and we work along with IS ISVs to ensure that the app compatibility or uh, it's a right use case scenario which is available for the customers. So that's when we are building an entire ecosystem. Right. Very interesting point you mentioned about security, right? Yes. Because when you are in that IT zone, right, uh, you want, there's a lot of data and you want that to be secured, right? So what are the steps taken uh, to ensure security? And how is Dell working with all the providers over there? Sure. See, security and privacy right. is one of the top key parameters when IT users or CXOs are basically looking out for. And hence, for few of the applications, the AI is coming from data center to edge. Wherein the IT department or CXOs, they would have more security on a device which their users are basically using. So we have different security solutions available, uh, including below the OS or above the OS on device. Uh, we have a strong collaboration and partnership along with Crowd, CrowdStrike as well. So we take security solution offering as one of our key offering when we speak to our customers. And another interesting thing that I saw in the slide was focus on sustainability. And you mentioned about some Type-C port with a screw. Kind of. Can you talk more about sustainability efforts from that? Sure. And when we speak about sustainability, we take pride in terms of ensuring that we have the right solution available across our product line. So it is not only about a device, but we have eco loop carry cases, which are basically made up of 100% recycled material. Now, coming to your question, right? Let's say if, let's say previous notebooks, right? right. In case there is a problem with the USB-C port, then the vendor has to basically replace the motherboard. And then it increases the e-waste. Correct? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a simplified version. Right. So it's only the USB-C port, let's say, for some reason, right? It needs to be replaced. Then in, instead of removing a bezel with a screw, we can just remove a USB-C port and then replace it with a new one. So you don't have to change the entire motherboard. Now we can say it's a it's a small thing, but according to Dell, it's actually a very important thing, yeah. right? In terms of yeah. the sustainability and then really ensuring that planet Earth we do the right thing. Most of the times we have a malfunctioning USB port or a power plug. Right? Yeah. So, so that's that's a one thing, right? right. And then uh, with Dell Pro and Dell Pro Plus, uh, some of some of the notebooks we use 50% plus recycled aluminum. Right. Uh, this is not only on notebooks, some of our desktop chassis are uh, basically leveraged with certain percentage of recycled material as such. Uh, our packaging, that is a recycled one. Right. So we really look at it as an end-to-end offering and how we can contribute to the sustainability efforts. We also have an offering called Asset Recovery Services Vitesh. Okay. Now, for many customers, they will be refreshing their earlier devices. So few customers think about hey, what to do about the existing devices. And then with asset recovery services, we take complete end-to-end -end responsibility of collecting the old device and uh, really working along with the right vendors uh, from a, a sustainability standpoint of view. And we give the certificate also to the organizations which they can use in their annual. So basically it's two-way. 
either gets into recycling or uh, in the secondary market. Uh, we don't go into secondary market. Okay. So it's more about we work along with our close partners and we work more from an e-waste standpoint. Great. So before we wrap this up, I have one last question. Like as per our counterpoint research data last year in 2024, right? We had one in four laptops that were sold. Those were Gen AI capable, right? 25% of the laptops. And by 2027, we are expecting three out of four laptops to be you know, AI PCs, yes. right? And with that being said, and the growing use cases, and you mentioned that you use uh, Copilot Plus uh, very often, and that has helped you improve your productivity as well. So can you tell us about three of your top use cases that you're using right now on an AI PC or something that you're most looking forward to in the future? So first, I'm very much excited with the broadest silicon offering what we have now. Right, so that gives the user option and choice to have the right product and right silicon offering versus their user needs. Coming to your question, right, I I'm, I personally use Dell Optimizer as a as a software a lot on on the device which I use. And Dell Optimizer comes along with all our commercial PCs. It's been there for last few years. I will give a couple of small real time examples which I use. Uh, for a traveling professional like me, let's say I am sitting at the airport and I want to work on my notebook, uh, then it automatically selects a router wherein it finds the higher signal strength, right? right? Uh, and then it connects to that router. Maybe it's a small thing, but it helps a lot, right? right? Automatically, it's connect to the right router. Second thing is, let's say if I'm sitting in a, let's say a user is sitting in a cafe or working or while traveling is working, and if he's using, let's say on a, on a meeting, right, the webcam is on, Right. Or so, or if a user is working on some confidential details, so in case someone is standing behind the user, then it actually detects that someone is intruding, kind of a thing, and then screen automatically gets blank. Right. So these are the important things right. to basically have. Definitely, I mentioned about Copilot Plus, right. which we use, and then along with the Zoom, the ISV, we have also made some AI feature changes, wherein image is much more crisper. Right the sound aspect and so on and so forth. All right. Great. I think that was great talking to you. Really good insights. Uh, thank you for joining us and sharing all the insights with me as well as our viewers. So looking forward to the next one. Sure. And thank you, Ritesh, for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you very much.